First question, what is the backstop? Uh, I think the backstop has to do with between Ireland and the rest of the UK. I believe they want to have like um, almost like a passport check, so you have to go in and out a bit like you would if you went to the airport. I'm not going to give you a point for that because it is the insurance policy. The backstop ensures that there is no hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Ah, okay. Question two. Boris Johnson likes the idea of a maximum facilitation to avoid the backstop. What is the maximum facilitation? <laughs> um, I have no clue. Uh, maximum facilitation sounds like a superhero move, um, especially coming from Boris Johnson. I would assume it's got something to do with just making sure that everything runs properly. Not really. It uh, would rely on technology like cameras and the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic to monitor lorries and other commercial vehicles crossing the border. Okay. Question three. Jeremy Corbyn says he has a five point plan for Brexit. Can you name three points within the plan? For a bonus point, can you name all five? Um, no, I have no idea what Jeremy Corbyn's five points are. Go and tell me. Uh, a permanent UK wide customs union. Yep, that makes sense. Close alignment with the single market. Dynamic alignment with EU rights and protections for workers, customers, and the environment. Clear commitments on the fu on future UK membership of EU agencies and funding programs, and agreements on a future comprehensive security arrangements, including membership of membership of the European arrest warrants. All of which sounds brilliant but none of which is really about Brexit. I think that some of them basically mean, can we hang on to all the benefits of being in Europe, but still say we're moving out and that we're not undermining democracy. It's always like you're half leaving. Who is Sabine Weyand? Sabine Weyand. Um, I'm sure that she's a very nice lady who does something in politics, or he is a brilliant gentleman. <laughs> You might have to tell me. Um, she's the deputy um, chief Brexit negotiator for the European Commission. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Question five. Which elections will take place between May 23 and May 26, and why are they important? Uh, I think those are the European MEP elections, and it's important because we were supposed to be leaving Europe before then, but we potentially aren't which makes us wonder whether or not we should take part in those elections. Yeah, okay, so you got two out of five. Brilliant. So I think... Thank you. You should have a reflection and go over those things after school. Absolutely. <laughs>